What's up YouTube? Well, I finally got the transfer switch in the mail. Came pretty quick. I don't know, four days, four or five days, something like that. But I got it all wired up and I've been using it. Seems like it's working pretty good. Seems like a pretty good switch. So let's take a look at it. So this is the switch. This is a transfer switch. It is a switch for a furnace, I guess they use it. It says standby power switch for a forced air furnace. It's a 20 amp switch. It's got a breaker on it. And I guess what they did, you know, you wire this near your panel and you take your your circuit that your furnace is on and you wire it through there. So if you power one out, you can you can uh crank up a generator and there's a plug that goes here but I didn't use the plug because I hardwired it you can plug in your generator and fire up your furnace so I'm just using it to fire up a circuit that comes into my garage right there I got a 20 amp breaker on my uh, my circuit in the house and never have it tr jump that much only sometimes if I run that air compressor in the, and then maybe the table saw it might only because I got a long distance and I'm stretching from my house to the garage with my my uh, my wire so the voltage drops and whatever so but anyway I don't think it should have any problem so it's all wired up and then you see that lights on because that lights telling you that you got generator power or whatever kind of power you're bringing into the switch from another source which actually is going to be my battery bank my solar setup and wind so it's telling me I got power to the switch, but actually, right yeah, right now, if you see on this side, it says Gen, generator, which is my batteries. So right now it's running off of the battery. And I got my little watt meter in here, let's see, I'm you know, drawing about 40 watts off of that, 48. I got one, two, three, four, five, four, five lights on. The battery's charging up, the radio was on. Yesterday I had the fan on. I mean, yesterday I think I was going like 160 watts. I had She had the sewing machine going, the fan was on, even those uh, 80, 240 watt bulb fluorescents were on. So it's not bad. I mean, I think I can have no problem uh, running this garage. The only thing I think is maybe the air compressor and maybe the table saw. I was doing the... Uh, the miter saw, making some cuts, no problem. Even with this one battery, so I think once I get up a couple batteries, I think I should be all right in this garage. Well, I wanted to switch. I mean, you could probably jerry rig this thing somehow, but I did. I just wanted to be on the safe side, and I can, I can just come over if my battery's going down and I don't want to use it anymore. I can turn it off, and then turn the house power back on. So now she's feeding from the circuit in the house. So it's pretty cool. I think I paid $80 on eBay. Nice solid metal construction. Looks pretty good. I got a number 10 running in there. Like I say, I hardwired it. I got a 10 wire running. I bought in Lowe's 15 foot. I got a wire. I wired a plug on the end. Splice a plug on the end. Nice heavy duty plug. So I think I'm pretty good with that. Ain't really getting much wind or solar the last couple days. Today it's just, the turbine's blowing a little, moving a little bit, but not really much. I mean, I've seen a couple amps coming in. Well, I don't know, and the battery's still holding up. 12, 12, 2, 9, so not bad. So, this is what I wanted to hook up, and it seems like it's working pretty good. I just click it back over, and I can run my battery. The inverter kicked on. Pretty cool. Alright, YouTube. Take it easy. I got some more stuff I gotta do on this yet. I got a couple terminal, battery terminal things I wanna rig up for the batteries, so I'm probably gonna work on that today. Well anyway, I'll put up a video when I get to that part. Alright, YouTube, take it easy.